Hey everyone, welcome to a special watercolor paint with me video. Today I am painting a tuxedo cat. Uh, it is a cat that actually belonged to a friend of mine and the cat's name was Betty and she was a very tiny tuxedo cat. So this painting that I'm doing is a tribute to her. Because Betty was a tuxedo, uh, she really predominantly only had black and white coloring, but also a very nice pink nose that was also, also sweet. And so for this painting, I used three colors of my Newton Windsor watercolor set. I also only used two brushes, they're very small brushes. A, I believe it is a three quarters inch brush and a half inch brush, but I might have that wrong. Uh, I did most of the coloring with the very, very fine brush and to get some detail and to spread the color around and then use the, the bigger brush for two reasons. Um, it helped me distinguish which one was which, which one had the color on it and which one did not. Uh, but the, the bigger brush I use to, to be my damp, colorless brush to help me control the level of pigment and also uh, soften up some of the edges. But the reason I use the finer brush for, uh, for most of the color work, despite even doing large areas of co color, was so that I could get the texture of the fur and the direction of what was going on and I really didn't go as dark as I planned in this painting using the blacks uh, but it came out really nice of giving the shadows and the the idea of, of the movement of, of little Betty. Uh, Betty was I believe she was 18 when um, at the end of her life and she might have been 19 I I'll hear about it later after this video posts, I'm sure. Uh, but she was very tiny and could still fit in one hand, like almost like a kitten. Uh, she just never got very big, and uh, it was it was really sweet and cute. So I'm not doing the full part of the cat body for this painting. This is definitely meant to be a, a faded out at the edges uh, image of, of what is going on. And she only has one ear in this painting to give the idea that she is pushed up against and the ear is actually under her and her paws are all stretched out and she is quite cozy in her little nap. And that is probably the best way to think of Betty. Cats and all fur babies, but cats especially for me and for my friends hold just the best little fur areas of our heart that are soft and lovely. And for that, I, I really enjoy doing a study in watercolor to focus on the personality of, of these individual cats and what they mean to all of us. Thank you. 
my tribute to Betty Boop Tuxedo Cat and I hope you enjoyed and thank you for paying tribute to her with me. <laughs>